everyone welcome to this video where we are going to dive into dynamic array which is a problem on the array section of data structure on occurring so without wasting time let us see what you're supposed to do here so in this problem we will save like queries queries are, are actually type of integer that need to be interpreted differently and uh, we have two types of query we have query starting with one and query starting with two and uh, before interpreting these queries, we need to have a setup. And our setup is declare two dimension array. We are going to learn how to do so. Declare an integer that will be called last answer. We know how to declare integer, so this is okay. And after we are going to have queries that we need to interpret. For the first type of the query, we need to compute the indexes, which is actually x, so last answer. Last answer is what has been declared here and uh, this modulo n n is what has been declared so we know this we know this this is actually coming from the query and then what make us decide to compute this is coming from the query which is the first integer let's say i'm receiving this if i receive this 105 1 indicate me is the first query 0 indicate 0 is actually the x and uh, this is the number that we need to be append. So for this one, interpreting this will give something like this. Computing the index will give 0, 0, 0, modulo 2. So that is why here you have the 0, 0, 0, modulo 2. 0, the first 0 is coming for the query, which is here. The second 0 is coming from the last answer, which is what has been declared. And the 2 is coming from the size of the array. So that is why you compute this. And then after this, what you need to do is to append u to array of index. We found that index was 0, so we now need to append u. u is actually 5. So we now append 5 to array of 0. That is why we are here. Initially, we were here. So that is how the first query works. Let us see again for the second one. For the second one, what will happen is that it's a query of type 1. So you are going to find the index so to find the index you are going to use this one so you are going to do one so last index which is zero so that you are going to have one so zero modulo n modulo two that's why you have one so zero modulo two so that's how you compute the index now the index fall into one and after this you need to append seven to the array be this seven the last number and the same here zero so zero modulo 2 and then you append 3 to the array so that is why after applying this you are here because you have been appending 5 3 and you append 7 here so now that you're here the next thing you need to we need to know is how to compute this type of query so when you receive a query with 2 you still need to compute the index that is something we already know how to do is the same what, we are, what we're doing here so you compute the index but now you assign the value r of index of this to last answer. So the second thing we need to learn how to compute is this one. Let us compute for the index. So for this one, the index will be, uh, like we just learned, it will be 1, so 0, right? So it will be, let it be, yeah, so it's 1, so 0, modulo 2. That is, we know how to do it. So we were able to find the index is 1. So now the second thing we know we need to compute is this one. U modulo size of array of index. So we're able to find that the index is 1. The array of index is array of 1, which is actually this array. And the size of this array is 1 because this, there's only one element. So at the end, we are going to take which value? U is um, 0. So we are going to take the value 0 modulo 1, which is actually 0. That is why you assign value at index 0. This 0 is coming from the what we just compute of array 1 to last answer. So that is why you have this. And then so on the same year. And for this one, you are going to assign value at index 1. Why index 1? Because if you start the compute, um, if you apply, if you compute this, you are going to fall into into one so now that we are aware of how the things work let us dive into coding it 
so to code it we are really going to go with something exactly what has been described we are going to declare the array we are going to look for each of the element that we are going to find we are going to have condition and then apply what is supposed to be applied okay coding time so we are going to first declare our last answer which is going to be is going to be zero we are going to declare our result array and then we are going to declare our two dimension array which is a vector of vector of int and we are going to call it r and uh, i'm specifying just n because i want an array of n element with empty values so no need for me to specify that it's a vector no need for me to specify there's a vector of int like this with zero element i don't need to specify because that is how the default value will come but if you were maybe element with uh, i would say array not empty array with initializing them with a specific number so it will be necessary for me to add the extra part but in this case i just need to put it this way this is enough to create the two dimension array now that we have this we now need to enter into the query so i'm going to have for int um from i will, i can say for auto i'll try this query of queries so when i'm in here the first thing i need to i will go to int x x is actually um, the element in the middle so x is going to take i'll first say type query type i'll say type will take query of zero x will take query of one and uh, u will take query of two once i have this now i can i can directly compute the index y because i know that from year and year I need to compute the index so i'll say in index now we take so i will use the same name as them index will take um index is actually equal to x so last answer modulo n so that is my index so now i need to check if the type is actually equal to one this is the type one if type is equal to one what am i doing so i'm just need to append u to array of index so i just need to to make r of index dot push back u what am i missing r of index dot pushback of u uh. why are you complaining so we find out okay yeah else pushback so maybe i, I spell it wrong okay and uh in the other one what am i supposed to do i'm supposed to assign the value r of index of this to last answer so here i just need to say last answer is going to take r of index r of index of the second element is actually u modulo so it's u modulo um array of index dot size yeah so this should be all and uh, in this case i should store the new value of last answer to the answer array so i'm just going to say result dot pushback of last answer and at the end of all this i will need to return last answer okay so i hope this was kind of clear I hope this was kind of clear no i don't need to return last answer i need to return my result because 
is actually the array of the last answer. So this was clear. This is the initialization point. This is the initialization that has been mentioned here. This is the loop of the logic. For each of the query, we, 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 we take the element that we need, the type x and u, and I will compute the index out of the out of the condition because we know we are going to use them in both. If the type is one, we just make the push. Else we compute the last answer, what has been specified here, and we push the result to we push to our array result the, the last answer. Let us run and see what it gives. Congratulations, let us submit. Perfect, everything is green. So this is my approach of solving this. I hope you do enjoy it. Feel free to give me your point of view. If you thought about it differently, I'll be really happy to interact with you regarding this. See you on the next video. Ciao.